Evening everybody, welcome to our craft and share and it's Thursday the 7th of December, I am live. I know it feels like ages since I've done a live but it's only, I've only missed one and I had a good reason. I'm Debbie Moore and welcome to our craft along show. Super excited about this one, uh, I'm going to show with you one of my favourite techniques but I'm going to show you how to do a twist on different shapes on that. Uh, I can see already there's loads of you over on YouTube and also on Facebook. I've got, my goodness, Victoria, Sally, Nikki, Julie, uh, Harry and Tina uh, <laughs> who says, welcome back. Hope you're not too tired. Great place. Thanks for the tour. Um, I am a little bit tired for those people that don't know. Uh, Dave and I just got back yesterday from France. Um, we bought a chateau and we're actually going back to France on Monday. So uh, we're back for a few days to pack everything up, get everything sorted. And so the next live after this one, which will be next Thursday, will be live from France. So God willing, everything will be okay. I can see Luke has joined us. I've got Jules. I've got Michelle who says, so excited, love the Oriental papers. Well, that's good. If you haven't downloaded your free papers, we'll put the link on, so don't worry. And you can watch it back later and you can craft along and you can pause me. You bought those people that have actually printed them off. We are going to do it in real time and I'm going to go through all the different stages. I can see that where well, my I have got uh, Jules saying hi, loving the colours. Um, I've got Tina saying, sorry, Terry from uh, saying hello and good morning from Christmas Valley. Uh, I've got Dee saying hi uh, and I have got, well, I've got Belinda, Margaret, Betty, Lois. Uh, I I have Sally says I shall do the craft along another time as I get lost watching it on replay I can pause on each bit yes Sally I think Dave would wish he could pause me and mute me so <laughs> I don't worry about that I can see Jackie has joined us I've got Andrea saying hi Debbie and Dave and everybody I can only watch for now but we'll watch and catch up no problem Andrea thank you for joining us I have got Zoe saying hi I've got Valerie Christine Rolf from Germany I've got Philippa, Julie, Jane, I've got another Andrea, Marsha from sunny Arizona, enjoyed the tour of the Chateau. Oh, um, well Marsha, there's some more videos coming up. I think there's one coming up on, I don't know where I'm on, I think one being popped up on Sunday and then there's another one every few days we're going to do. It is, there is quite a lot. Um, so a lot of people have been asking me how it's going to affect Debbie Moore Designs. The answer is it's not going to affect. What's going to happen is we've actually set up a separate Facebook uh, page and YouTube for obviously for people who want to watch the DIY and what I'm doing, techniques, that will be all appearing on there. But obviously if, it's a cr if it crosses over and I'm doing, for example, I don't know, I'm making a mirror okay, using Cadence Spray. For example, that will also appear on Debbie Moore Designs. So make sure we'll put the links on. So if you do want to follow my journey and Dave's journey while we redo up the um, the chateau up in France, it's called Chateau Chamay. Um, and yes, there's loads of do. It's been empty for four years, but nothing's actually changing with regard to Debbie Moore Designs. Zoe and Jessica are up in Darlington. I've also got Helen and Gordon up there in the Northeast as well. Uh, Bella will be based down um, in Yelling. So she's going to be there or she'll be popping over to France as well. And then obviously there is Hobby Maker TV and so in uh, street TV and I'll be coming over once a month to do those and then live streaming. So for example on Saturday I'm doing I think it's five hours. Two hours on Sewing Street, three hours on Hobby Maker. So that's what I'm doing on Saturday and I'll talk to you about that later on. Uh, yes I'm so excited about everything. Michelle says love the photo so far. It is so exciting. I've got Pat joined us as well. I have got Leslie I've got Julie, I've got Carol. Oh, bless you. She said, good evening, everybody. We'll have to catch up as not feeling good. Oh, Carol, sending loads of kisses and hugs and prayers, and I hope you feel better soon. Uh, I've got Vanessa says, <laughs> she forgot it was a craft along. 
Well, Vanessa, don't forget you can download it. You can wa you can watch it on recap as well. Uh, the papers are not going away. And do you know what? I only got back last night. No, yesterday. I can't remember what day of the week it is. Uh, so it was quite a busy day trying to get everything ready uh, for today's show. I have got Beverly saying hello. Uh, looking forward to going around the chateau as well. Well, Beverly, there is there is. So I've showed you the first floor, and I've showed you. Where might the outdoors of the chateau? I've got the second, no, the first floor, and I've also got the welcome to do. Uh, I, should, I know I should, I've got them all out of order, um, but you know we're new at this, so <laughs> you just have to bear with us. And then there is a second floor as well, and there's the cellar. So there is four floors in total. So there's, and it all needs cleaning all needs emptying oh and then there's the barn that is two stories as well and then there is the jeet so there's loads more videos coming on so just if you want to follow it don't forget to actually subscribe we've now got um it's called creating our dream chateau over on youtube we will put the links but it's also on facebook i've got wendy joined us i've got carmen said missed your lives last week carmen you didn't why are you saying you missed me um, uh, that's Carmen from Malta. I, I was actually in France last week, so I didn't do a live. Uh, I've got Kim saying hi, uh, and I've got Elsie saying hi, and she loved the uh, film of the Chateau as well. Uh, where am I? I've got Angela saying hi, Mary, Karen, Janet from North Carolina. Marion says, hi Debbie and Dave and everybody, hope you're all well. I will have to watch and catch up as I'm going to a carol concert at church and have a good night. Oh, Car uh, sorry, Marianne, have a fabulous time. Uh, Chris says, good evening everybody, I love your Chateau Debbie and enjoy the tour. My husband would love those ships I saw in one of the, your rooms. There's loads of ships, trust me. There. So the Chateau that Dave and I have bought, uh, and he's telling everybody he's bought me a Chateau for Christmas. So he's just said, I'm not getting you a Christmas present. On this occasion, I'll let him off. But it is full, everybody. It, it's, been, it's been empty for four years, and there is so much stuff in there that needs to be dealt with. And one of the things, Chris, is ships. But there's quite a few ships as well. I have got Surya saying hi, Susan and Anita saying going to watch your craft long and do mine tomorrow. That is totally fine. Oh, a nice cup of coffee. Cheers, everybody. So I don't normally drink coffee, okay? I normally, now and again I do, but I tend to drink tea. But I'll be honest with you, it has been full on uh, since we left last Wednesday uh, to France, picked up the keys on Thursday, starting clearing Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday and then on Tuesday drove back because it takes about 10 hours from house to house uh, and that includes the crossing and then obviously I'm um, here for a few days and we're packing up the house, packing everything that we have. Um, obviously not Debbie Moore Designs office, that is still in Darlington and that will stay like that and Jessica's there as well as Zoe so don't worry about anybody placing orders for all future orders. The only thing that will change a little bit is I'll be doing two separate types of videos so I'll be doing an awful lot of DIY and as well as craft and you just if it, if there's if it crosses over it'll go on Debbie Moore Designs but obviously if it doesn't cross over into craft it will go onto our Creating Our Dream Chateau Facebook and YouTube hopefully that makes sense um, and the only other thing that will change a little bit is that I'll be working with other suppliers in Europe to bring you some fabulous arts and craft products uh, as well as Debbie Moore Designs because we're a small team and we're going to stay small we're not getting bigger look at the carry-on we had last year and when creating craft went into administration it really it really affected the business so we're now changing how we do things and we're quite happy to stay as we are and hopefully you guys out there are happy because you are continue supporting me which I think is amazing so thank you for that um <laughs> Elsie says lots and lots of cleaning in your new house yes there is so one of the things that we said that we would we I think we went through something like 80 bin bags run out and that was so the kitchen, so I don't know if you saw it, the, the small kitchen, all the, all the shelves, all the uh, cupboards were full of food. Um, there wasn't any, the fridges were empty, but all the cupboards had like 
pasta, rice, and they were all in containers. There was just so much to throw out. Uh, so we need to buy more. I have, uh, I think I've said hello to Dorothy. I've got Sarah. I've got Kaya saying, hi, everybody. Hugs and prayers for all who need them, most definitely. I've got uh, Anita from Honolulu. I've got Margaret. Oh, Susan says, is anybody else having sound problems? Now, I've put my mic here, so please let me know if you can hear me okay. Um, Christine says, it's amazing seeing that everything is still there, what is left. Condition of inside doesn't look too bad. That's what I'm saying. The first floor is good. The second floor, there's a couple of rooms a bit iffy because there has been some leaks on the roof. So you'll see that in the next video, uh, Christine. I have got Cassandra just joined says hi Debbie and Dave and all crafters just popping in tonight to catch the gossip as I have a thumping headache <gasps> Sandra oh take it easy drink loads of fluids I had a really bad headache over the weekend and I think it was it turned out I'm so used to drinking fluids I think because I was so busy cleaning and everything I think I had two drinks all day from eight in the morning to eight at night uh and then that, that made me have a headache but either way just take it easy um andrew says not been on for a while been very busy with my christmas craft as i started a bit late and been selling cards as fast as i'm making them well that's brilliant news okay i'll be honest i'm very late you know i can't believe it's the 7th of december you know uh and i need to get everything done before i go um on monday um okay michelle and d says sound is good i've got susan joined us saying hi everybody love the pictures of the french chateau congratulations oh thank you susan uh i have got jeanette joined us uh from dm delight saying hello from her and paula tracy says been um to the hub at clay cross for crafting afternoon oh i bet that was nice I've got Kath joined us. There's loads of us on tonight. I've got Karen, Cynthia, Teresa. I've got Cheryl. Uh, it says, just caught up with your video on your shutter. It looks like a wonderful place. I hope so. I hope we can actually create our dream shutter. I'm sure we will. It's going to take time, everybody. And you know me. I'm going to design loads of things. I want to share techniques and different ideas and just stretch my creativity, if that makes sense. Um, I have got Anna saying hi. Uh, she's going to do catch up. I've also got Joe saying loving the Chateau videos. Received my mystery box from the other week. Not open it until Christmas. Well, there's not that many left. I've actually got it on today's show. Uh, I think there might be about nine left and that's it. Uh, I have, Tina says, what was the date it was built? Now that's a problem, Harry and Tina. The, in the paperwork that we bought the Chateau, it says before 1900s but because it's been empty for four years there is no there's no paperwork or trail so we're going to go and do is it a treasure hunt or a historical hunt uh, and obviously at the moment Dave and I do not speak um, French very well we can say Balavou Anglais s'il vous plaît uh, Bella is very good she came over and helped with the legality of things uh, so I will be learning so hopefully I'll be able to tell you in the future very soon um, I've got Marilyn saying hi she's loving uh, the Chateau and Anita says thanks for sharing the Chateau experience well Anita there I've only shared with you two videos I've got loads of ideas and share with you the whole of what we've got uh, and Mary's loving that. Oh, thank you, everybody. You're all loving it. Teresa says, I can watch live normally, but but put, but got COVID so isolated. Oh, Teresa, I think I've read that right. You've got COVID. Oh, I'm sending prayers uh, for your speedy recovery. So take it easy. And hopefully I can make you smile with uh, my craziness. Because, you know, when you get really tired and you go past that point where you become really... Uh, crazy i know i'm a bit crazy anyway but i'm very hyper um but i think it's because there's so much going on and i have to remember everything uh yes karen don't worry you will see everything she says you can't wait to see them all and angela says i'm a good cleaner well angela if you live nearer i might have taken you up on that uh i have got edna saying hello and colleen and christine and Another Christian says, that sounds exciting with some new items added into your amazing collections. Yes, there's loads of things happening next year. 
Um, and obviously, um, next week is a special show because it's the first live show. So make sure you put it in your diary. First live show from the Chateau. Uh, and God willing, everything would be okay. Uh, but we need to make sure that the broadband and everything's all sorted out. And don't forget, we've got the week after. If you've never, uh, if you've only uh, joined us this year, we have a Christmas party happening the week after and that's the 21st of December and yes it's going to be just as crazy as before uh, but with some other twist to it so make sure you put that in your diary um okay Susan says I've moved over to YouTube as the sound kept coming and going well so far people says the sound is fine uh Connie says might have missed the answer will you be will the lives be in the chateau Yes, I'll be doing lives. When I come over to the UK, depending on when I'm on, I might do a live from the UK. Um, so the plan is lives will continue every week. I know last week I didn't do a live, but you know, you could forgive me. I was getting the keys to a new chateau. So we're going to be trying to do a live every week. And then I'll be doing Hobby Maker TV. I'm on this Saturday. Yes, at, I do not know what time I'm actually on. I think it's 10, 12 one two four <laughs> i'm on sewing street for the first two hours and hobby maker tv and i have got the new winter fair well it's winter fairies fabric collection and also i have got you can see some gorgeous cards behind me i've got the art decor moonlight dreams collection on as well i've got jill just joined us rosemary gainer uh rob says dear of debbie and deb what a lot of work to, to do in the chateau but at the end it'll be fantastic i'm sure do you know what rolf i cannot wait uh for the journey and also the discovery learning about the history you know how much i love designing so i'm really excited about creating new wallpapers having a go at different techniques with stamping and techniques with cadence products as well so you know watch the space i'll be doing loads of different things um and also don't know when but we plan to do craft and art retreats not just with Debbie Moore Designs we're going to get other tutors over and we're going to run weekend classes as well uh, I've got the book house uh, just joined us I think that's from you're from South Africa she's put loving the shadow videos what an absolute adventure thanks for sharing all the excitement would love to be there maybe one day uh, and Anita uh, says she loves supporting small businesses. Thank you. Andrew says, same here on YouTube now. Sound much better. Okay. Is it my mic? Can you all hear me? Okay. I've got Jacqueline saying hi. Uh, oh, everybody's saying they can hear me fine. I've got Pat just joined us. Um, Christian says, I think you should do a kit with your Chateau Adventures. I'm actually will be doing. Did you see the floor? Oh, I love the floor that uh, apparently blue in on the floor means it is really good quality so I'm designing some new ranges to go with the chateau um, I just need a spare time basically I have got Sharon joined us oh Vanessa's put is Dave a good handyman Dave no. <laughs> he's going yeah yes and no well basically he's good at what he's done so far but as the chateau journey continues we'll be learning new techniques that's for sure uh right i've got hillary saying hi debbie and all had to come over to you facebook keeps losing sound okay well at least you can hear it's very weird because a lot of people of you are saying that you can hear me okay i've got jennifer saying hi wendy are you going to slow down on christmas day margaret says yes I'm actually going to slow down before then, Margaret, okay? Um, it has been a bit hectic, but you know what it's like when you buy a new house and you're going through the move and the process. And because normally when you buy a house, the house is normally empty, isn't it? Nine times out of ten, I think so. And even when you're renting, because uh, we rent at the moment in the UK, they it comes unfurnished. Well, you can get furnished or unfurnished. But the chateau is full, closed toys food so it's like we're having to re well we're having to do two jobs so we are slowing down and obviously i still have to continue with debbie more designs you know from the newsletters from the posts that we do but now we're also going to be doing the chateau journey as well so i am and i love christmas okay i miss 
My whole family, as you know, I lost my grandfather and my mother and Dave lost his dad. So Christmas has been a little bit hard the last few years. So we're quite excited to start bringing the chateau alive and doing a lovely Christmas, um, basically a Christmas decorations. It might not happen this year, but it definitely will happen next year. I've got either showing sorry, saying sorry I'm late, but had company looking forward. Good. I've got Caroline saying, hi Debbie and Dave, love the tour of the Chateau. Don't want to be nosy, but why did you decide to move to France? Well, you're not being nosy. You're not the, the first person. Two basic things, actually. I've always dreamt of doing arts and craft retreat where people can just come for a, a holiday, a weekend or a bit longer and essentially that was one of the dreams that we had and secondly we have this thing, well both Dave and I love history and I love architecture and it's one of the dreams to always own a chateau. I mean who, which little girl doesn't want to be, have a Prince Charming and also be swept into a castle. But then also the cost at the end of the day as well and with um, us going to France the last few years, we realised how basically reasonable it is to buy a house. I can't afford to buy a house in the UK, but I can afford to buy a chateau. So that is the difference and that's one of the reasons why. Uh, a lot of it is our love of bringing it back to life. We can't wait to see the journey and also have a look at the history. I mean, can you imagine, you know, if the walls could talk? I mean, it's we think it's a couple of hundred years old and we're looking forward to discovering it as the journey goes through. So hopefully that answers it. Um, I have got Betty just joined us. Uh, Sammy says, are you doing, going to have the gnomes on scatter cushions? Sammy, the gnomes are already on cushions. Okay, um, you can check out Sewing Street TV and Zoe, yes, you can have a mystery box if there is any left. Yes, you definitely can have it. You get £120 worth of goodies for £27.99 and we'll get started very soon. Um, oh, the like and share, sorry, I've been talking so much because I've been answering all these questions. I totally forgot about the like and share. So Christmas is round the corner and the like and share for this week is what's your favourite Christmas food? Now, I think I might have mentioned this before. Um, about 10 years ago, Dave gave me this wrapped item. He said, Debbie, I've got an early Christmas present for you. I'm like, oh, brilliant. I'm really excited. I opened it up. It was a Nigella Lawson Christmas cookbook. And he had used post-it notes on the pages. And he said, that's what I want for Christmas. <laughs> so since then, every Christmas, I do go over... Um, I kind of go crazy at Christmas and I love making chili jam. I love doing the hams. You know, I used to make a ham for my mother. Um, obviously now she hasn't, she's no longer with us. We will do a ham and I'll probably give one to my name, new neighbor that I've got. But that's my favorite food. The fa It's making the festive Christmas food. And uh, so yes, so like and share this page. Let's get people talking about this Facebook Live and I'll also on YouTube. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you are watching to say whether you like the channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe over on YouTube. Please give me a like and tell me what you think because we do use that information to see what people think. And also, don't forget on the top right hand side, you can actually click to follow. I think that's right. And you'll be notified when we have videos uh, or lives going on on either YouTube or Facebook. So I think that covers everything. Uh, oh, Elsie's pot lobster is my favourite food at Christmas. Do you know what, Elsie? I have never had lobster at Christmas. To be fair, I think in my lifetime I might have had lobster once or twice. But Michelle, I like what you put. My favourite food is wind is peppermint hot chocolate and peppermint bark. That sounds amazing. I think everybody is. Uh, it is going to make me hungry because uh, I've got Himco, 
Himiko. Hopefully I've said it like right. She's put sprouts with bacon and mince pies. Have you noticed that mince pies are going a little bit crazy recently? You can get pecan nut mince pies. You can get marzipan mince pies. There's loads of different flavours at the moment. Uh, right, while you are going through everything, Philippa says, Shatter looks great, but probably need a bit more than a dab of beacon's glue. Definitely. I can see it's going crazy. Uh, um, Sandra says, oh, bless you, you think you might have a cold. Been drinking lots today. No problem, you take it easy, Sandra. Uh, there's loads of messages coming through. Colin says, where will the ladies in the office be here or in France? Colin, the Darlington office, which is in the northeast, okay, where I used to live, that is where the office, that is where Zoe is. Uh, that's actually where four of the staff that we uh, employ are in the northeast. That's not going anywhere. It's only Dave and me that are going to France. Uh, and Bella popping over now and again. Uh, the, the, the chateau is so big, she's kind of adopted a suite. <laughs> so she's going to do it all up. Um, I have got... Uh, Terry's like cheesy potatoes and glazed ham. Oh, that sounds nice. And Andrew says, pigs in blankets are my favourite. Do you know what? When Dave did that idea with the uh, cookbook, we made had to make an agreement that if I was making all these things, he had to make a few things as well. So that's, that's one of the things he does, Andrea. He does pigs in blanket, but what he does is get little sausage and uses parma ham. And then he also makes baby mince pies, if there's such a thing as baby's mince pies. Uh, where I've got, I've got Christine saying hi, and Colleen's put, you will need a swimming pool for Dave. At the moment, we don't have one. It is on my wish list and there is space, but there's loads more things to do before I get to that. I've got Sandra uh, has just joined us, uh, saying, oh my goodness, um, Hi everybody, gosh, that's a lot of rubbish, Debbie and Dave. I've got, I've had good health news. No cancer found after many tests. Wishing you everybody. And then it's gone. I think you might say a happy Christmas or happy day. And I'm so glad for your news. Uh, right, okay. I have got Tony joined us. Everybody's saying the sounds good. Pauline saying hi. Um, and I have got Kel says, good evening everybody, I hope everybody's okay. It's been raining heavily all day today in County Durham. Son has just picked up the grandkids and bought me a chocolate orange, my favourite. But we'll share it with the grandkids tomorrow. <gasps> Carol, have you tried white chocolate orange? I love white chocolate, it's one of my favourite things. Um, talking of Christmas, because people have been asking, if you want to send me a Christmas card, you can, or even the girls, because everything is going to the Darlington office and then they send it all together on to France. So don't worry about that. I know people have been asking about that. I've got Georgia saying hi. My favourite great, uh, my favourite is great roast with all the trimmings uh, and dessert like Bailey's profiteroles. That sounds really nice. You're all making me hungry. I'm not going to read them all out. Um... Uh, Okay, uh, Karen says, I think it's lovely that you are living the dream. Yes, Karen. It's been a hard three years. I mean, everybody has their ups and downs. And the thing is, life's too short. So we thought, well, why not what we've got to lose? So that is why we are going to France and we are renovating a chateau. Uh, but we're doing it a little bit different uh, in the fact that I am continuing with Debbie Moore Designs and we are just doing it in between, if that makes sense. Okay, so Belinda says, have you found any treasure in the cupboards yet? Belinda, it depends what you mean by treasure. If you mean antiques that I don't understand some of them, then yes, okay, we're going to have to get people to come in and have a look at them. I've got some strange things that there was a turtle... Um, a stuffed turtle on the wall in the library. I don't know if anybody saw that. Um, okay, I have got, where am I? I've got, Anne says, you might find some treasure in the chateau. It's all exciting, be worth every moment of hard work, definitely. I'll tell you what, the lady who lived beforehand, she was a doll maker and she has loads of dolls. And when I say loads, probably a hundred or so and some of them are like 200 years old and she's got the little um, buggies is that what they're called cots uh when you get to see the next lot of shows or should I say the next videos on on the second and third floor you'll see what i mean so um we're going to have to get somebody in to look at it because that dev's like bin them all <laughs> throw them all out you don't need them because obviously they're they've been empty for four years the house so it's dusty so you couldn't 
you know some of the dolls are uh, really really need to be uh, really well cleaned I should say so we'll just wait and see what happens I have got more messages coming through I'm trying to read as much as I can of everything if I've missed anything please let me know don't forget to like and share this page give me the thumbs up over on uh, YouTube as well as on Facebook yes um, we're trying to contact somebody who knows about dolls because I haven't got a clue it's the same with the ships we've got loads of ships and they're not toys they're ships about this big and this wide but they're all different and they're all uh, there's <laughs> there's loads so we are trying to contact people to see what if they can give us any advice D says oh wow I would love to find a place like that I would love finding all things you and me both do and it's something that you know it's like a little adventure uh, okay where are we oh um, the bookshelf says maybe you'll find some hidden rooms behind the shelves or a secret passage now that will be something but I think for now I'm quite happy with all the different things that we've got I've got Marianne join us good morning from Victoria in Canada uh, so happy for you and Dave and the new Chateau adventure another chapter in your life to share with so many others yes we are going to share it and we're going to share our ups and downs and as you can imagine it's going to be a learning lesson with everything that we do the agreement is that Dave does most of the DIY I will help where possible and I'm going to look after the garden and Dave is going to help me with any heavy stuff in the garden but we've met loads of wonderful people over there we've met uh, a lovely um, our lovely neighbor we've also met a lovely uh, UK community actually um, um, from Bob and Denise and Tracy and Michael and so many people they're so welcoming so we are looking forward to it right we're going to get on because I could talk all the time about what's happening uh, thank you Denise for the stars I really appreciate it now remember if you have any questions please let me know I'll try to answer them as much as possible uh, don't forget that we are going to pick somebody uh, who's going to win the like and share very exciting because you've got some brand new goodies coming out very soon so you're going to get some uh, new items that you haven't seen before um, I can see Mirella says I love my mum's mince pies made with sherry in a rich short crust pastry do you know what that's the other thing I'd love to learn to cook more or learn to cook try cooking more I used to cook and bake all the time and then I got really busy I know you're going to say that I'm going to get even busier but I'm going to try and make time that's for sure uh, I have got Iris joined us thank you Iris and Margaret and I have got another Wendy well there's loads of you on tonight so thank you for joining us um, Teresa hi Teresa and I have got Michelle as well and Shirley oh Carmen likes Christmas log I don't think I've had that for a while I've got Lucille from Paris bonjour ça va now that bit I do know <laughs> um, it was quite funny I was on Monday I was trying to understand one of the builders and he asked me a question and you know what I didn't answer in French I answered in Spanish it's gonna get really confusing but you know they'll get used to me uh, I have got so much to show you but we're gonna get started um, with regard to the show so tonight's show is a craft along we'll put the link on uh, YouTube okay and also on Facebook so when I say craft along what we do is every first Thursday of the month and we will be continue this there is a craft along okay this one I want to show you how to make a fabulous card with a twist I'm going to show you how to make this card the card that I'm going to show you, you can change it into three different ways and then we're going to do one more step so you can end up with one shape four different finishes yes and then you would have got the oriental I gave you aqua and pink as the download basically I couldn't decide which one to give you so I gave you both now these are the downloads and as you can see I've gone for pink today surprise surprise I've started to cut that out but the rest of it I'm going to go together so tonight's uh, show sorry I got distracted because Wendy said you can do a cooking retreat from the chateau Wendy that's a brilliant idea but I don't think I should do it I think I'll get a professional in to do it because I am not a professional cook and there's no way that I'm going to teach somebody um, 
professional retreat, okay? What I might do is we might have a, a group cooking thing uh, event and we might do something like that. Uh, but I like the idea. Thank you for that good idea. Uh, Susan says your voice is etching. Does that mean echoing? Is my, it must be my mic. We'll see how it goes. Right. And Karen's put, oh, cook and craft. That's really a good idea. Okay. So tonight's show is a craft alarm. As you can see, there is loads of us on tonight. It is a crafting community that we can get together once a week on our Facebook and YouTube channels. And the idea behind it is a worldwide community. We've got people from Hawaii, from Malta, from France, from Germany, around the UK, from Ireland. Uh, we've even got Australia, Canada, so much on that okay everybody so and if I miss somebody I'm sorry uh, but there's so much for everybody uh, to contribute so if you have any questions please let me know um, I you know I can see that Sharon over YouTube has just joined us from Belfast hi and don't forget over on YouTube Dave has just put the link and he's put the link on Facebook uh, I can see <laughs> that Sarah's put will Dave do drum lessons I think he needs to practice for a bit longer, Sarah, because his drums have been in storage for, I think, three years. So he can't wait to get them out. Um, and Nicola has joined us. She's put, uh, where am I? She's put, has gone there. Uh, the winter fairies are lovely. Where am I? Oh, she's put, hello, so I'm late. Dozed off after slaving at my sewing machine all day. Yes, Nicola has been making some samples as well as Bella for our sewing launch on Sewing Street TV on Saturday, which we'll share with you later. Um, and I can see that you got loads of messages coming through. I'm trying to catch up with them. If I miss them, just please ask. So going back to tonight's show, we have some new products on. We have some last ones. We have a limited edition item on as well. But I always tell everybody, you don't have to buy unless you want to. Now, if you want to buy, it's a very straight, easy thing to do. We put the code up onto the system. For example, we have got one of my favorite stencils side seed stencil on today and it comes normally at 8.99 but today which is fb2818 it is only 5.99 so if you wanted one of those and what this creates it creates a side scene so for example you've got a shape like so so it creates this type of shape or you can turn it round and instead of doing it this way, you can have it this way and create that shape. Make sure I do it the right way. Sorry, there we go. So you can do that shape card. Can you see? So you've got loads of choice of that. And if I get time, I will do a demonstration with this. So the code is FB2818. And if you want it, just simply put it on your comments. And we'll come up in a set. Oh, Edna, thank you for the stars. And Julie, thank you for joining us tonight. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, Chris says it's very easy to buy. Not so easy not to buy. <laughs> that is funny. Okay, don't worry. We'll get sorted out with everything in a second. Okay, so the code is FB2818 if you wanted a size stencil now i'm going to go through the procedure of how you order and the cut information will go up so there you go you can see it's fb2818 it's a sizing stencil normally 8.99 it's 5.99 and this i love it so if you like the 3d size stencils you'll be able to create it for 5.99 and you'll be able to do loads of it this way or if you have a look at this you can do it this way and then add an extra section I think Lois did this card, yes, and you create a card like this. Uh, right, okay, so going back to how it works, if you want it, you put it in your comments, and what will happen is this show will let it be left open uh, for the next couple of days, and it'll start to be processed over the weekend and Monday, and you'll get it, well, you get the invoice via an email. It's a first come first serve because a lot of items, well, some of these items on here are limited. So if you want them, please make sure that you uh, sort out your account as soon as possible. If you're not to, if you want it on hold, contact the office. But it'll be sent via an email. So if you're brand new to the system, please make sure you private message your uh, email address and your postal address. And then what you can do is that you can actually, uh, you will send you the email with the payment link. Now, when you 
you get the payment link, you can click on it. You can pay by debit card, credit card and PayPal. Anne says crafty shuttle retreats. Yes, we definitely will be having those in the future. Um, so with, I can see people are already ordering the first item. Now remember with the payments, you can actually, all these items are also on the website. So you can go to the website or you can order this way. Now our website is debbiemoredesigns.com. Now the other way to actually pay, you can ring the office on 07553 457 168 and Jessica and Zoe are there to help. Now our emails are info at debbiemoredesigns.com and Facebook is at debbiemoredesigns. Now though up to date, I think for a few hours uh, behind uh, today on Facebook with the emails, we have been so crazy busy with our pink and black Friday event the last few weeks that we are behind with our emails and that should be updated or completed by end of play tomorrow but if there's anything urgent please contact the office um i can say oh my goodness there's loads of you i've got barbie just joined us i've got kath okay uh susan says you sound as if you're in an airport you keep buffering do you think i should move my mic i'm just gonna move it I know a lot of people are saying that they can hear me, okay? So let me just do that and put that up there. Okay, so hopefully that is a little bit better for anybody who is having issues. So going, we're going to get started. So this is the first item, FB2818, 5 .99. And it's so easy to do it. Uh, because of time, um, I will get back to this if I can do it because I want to go through and do the craft along. So the next item that we have is the warehouse box now i did say i know zoe you've just bought one but dave could you pass me that box over there please um we literally have now eight warehouse boxes left and it's a first come first serve with it and what you end up getting oh gosh so you will get 120 pounds worth of goodies and it's a mystery it's a warehouse clearance end of lines and you'll get card kits we'll put the top camera on you'll get card kits you'll get usb keys you might get stamps you get stencils ribbon you'll also get maybe some tools you've also got some more folders so essentially you've got is that glitter you've got all kinds of things it looks like mdf you will get um looks like you might get a usb key so you will get 120 pounds worth of goodies for 27.99 and as i said first come first serve uh debbie the sound is worse now oh my goodness what is going on the sound is worse we Okay, is that just you, Anita? How put it back? There we go. Right. Um, okay, Joe says, Debbie, just popping out of a live show for a bit as I need to call my dad and wish him happy birthday. As an, and as my parents live in France, can't leave it at 8.15 for him now. Back soon. Well, happy birthday to you, Dad, Joe. Okay. Um, Joe says, they are amazing. My friend saw mine, so I'm buying her one. Yep, brilliant. First come, first serve. And I've changed the sound, so hopefully it is okay. Iris says, my box arrived yesterday. Fibrous as always. Yes. First come, first serve, CMO60. 120 worth of goodies for $27.99, and it weighs a ton. Okay. So, um... Kez says, warehouse clearing boxes are such a treat. So many items, I know. We try, do try to spoil you all. Um, so that is that one. <gasps> and then, I need a drum roll, please, Dave. It is very important for the next item, FB2819. Okay, that was very loud. Did you all get it? So, we have the new magazine. So this is FB2819. We are taking pre-orders of the magazine and it's a winter edition. Uh, there is no Christmas. It's all about winter. You might have the odd Christmas tab that you may want to create it into uh, a Christmas card or a last minute Christmas card, but it's all to do. You've got the new fairies in there. Okay. You've also got a forest stencil. You've got some elements on the new art deco in there as well. Uh, oh, Victoria says, I've received my warehouse clearance box and it's fantastic. There's so many presents for my friends. Well, that is good to hear. But remember, first come, first serve with it. So if you want one, put it down. Oh, Christine said, Dave, good drum roll. It is definitely good. Uh, and so with this one, I will say the previous magazine, which was this one, 
I have sold this out in record time. I literally have one left. I have none left, okay? I can't believe how many we have sold. So if you got this one, congratulations. It was and is one of the best issues we've done in a long time. Uh, oh, Mary says, yippee, I have the subscription, love the mags, good. And Debbie said, uh, Sandra says, Debbie, do we get a reminder when our subscription runs out for the magazine? Sandra, you do. However, I will get Jessica to check your subscription and confirm to you, okay? Because she'll be watching the show tomorrow. Uh, and, and yeah, Karen's point, issue 66 is great. It is, isn't it? So because this sold out so quickly, this is the next issue, which is issue 67. And there is nearly, well, 70, nearly 70 pounds worth of goodies. And we're giving you a look at the price. So obviously normally we sell it at 14 99 You've got a couple of pounds off, 12 99 for 70 pounds worth of goodies, everybody. So first come, first serve. This is not going on TV until January. Okay, we so if anybody wants one, please put it down on FB2819 and it'll be allocated to you. Uh, Ida says, everything is coming through clearly on your on YouTube. Well, that's brilliant. Thank you, everybody, for confirming that this is sound. Um, and also Denise as well and everybody else. Uh, Karen says, I think it is one of your best so far. Oh, well, that is high praise, Karen. I need to make sure this one uh, that you feel is even better than that one. So if you want the latest magazine, as I said, it's only available on an introductory offer for $12.99, FB2819, and first come, first serve, because we think it's going to sell out as quickly as the other one. Especially, I don't know if you saw the stencil. So this stencil is called a forest. It's all about winter. So it's to, you know, people say they have the winter blues. You're not going to get that, okay? They've got different techniques on here. So you have the stencil. Now, I don't know what I've done with the stencil. It's somewhere under all this table. But essentially, this is... We show you a technique on how to create a forest scene. You've even got on here grass. You've even got trees. You've got these gorgeous deers. And you've even got a winter background. So the idea behind it is this is an A5 stencil. You're going to be able to create your winter scenes. It is a fabulous uh, stencil and I'm falling in love with the builder scene stencils. This is FB2819. So if you would like it, just simply put your name down or put the code next to your name and it'll be allocated. Now, for those people who prefer the digital option, you know that we're going to do it. So the same, we've kept the price the same to make it fair because what you guys will get is you'll get everything. You'll get the free papers. Normally in a magazine, you know that you get your stencil, you get your free collection, and then you get papers in the inside. And the papers, normally you do not get it as a download. But if you buy issue 67 as a digital download, you'll get all the papers that you can print off again and again. You won't get the stencil, but you'll get everything else in there. So that is, uh, yes, Kaya, you can have issue 67 as a digital download, and that's FB2820. Carol's just joining you, saying, sorry I'm late, as usual, what have I missed? Well, I was chatting about the Chateau, and this is the latest magazine. If you want it as a physical copy, it's FB2819. If you want it as a digital, it's FB2820. If everybody has any questions, please let me know. Edith says, not sure if this is my last one before I need to renew my yearly subscription. Edith, I'll get Jessica to have a look into it and she'll confirm to you tomorrow. Okay, so that's very exciting. So we have this as a brand new uh, magazine that's due out um, later this month. So you know it's going to be jam-packed full of loads of goodies. I've got Carol joined us saying hi Debbie and all. Hi Carol. The next item is a limited edition. So have a magical day. FB2821. We have and I mean limited because we don't have that many of them. We have, isn't she beautiful, the new fairy as a mug. Okay, so this is a limited edition if you love your fairies. I don't think we've actually done a fairy mug. So this is a gorgeous new fairy that we have. And it says, 
have a magical day so if you want the new uh, mug it is FB 2821 and it's first come first serve I will have to stress with that because we only have a limited amount that is actually coming in on Monday and then once it's gone I do not know when it's going to come back in again um, now remember if I've asked if I've missed any questions please let me know uh, and I will try to answer them so this mug is gorgeous look at it so you have got it's microwavable microwavable even so these are the new fairies winter fairies volume 2 that is due out later this month and she is gorgeous it's FB 2821 and it's only 6 99 and it's really good size mug and it says have a magical day Dee said it's so beautiful and so is Susan yeah it's gorgeous isn't it hi Julie Julie's just joined us as well uh, right okay so we're going to be starting very soon um, the craft along so make sure uh, I don't think it's pinned so make sure that if you want it please simply uh, download it either now or later we're going to be starting it very soon I'm going to show you how to do and get yourself some card or pencil and some paper and I'm going to show you a really fabulous technique um, the next product that I'm going to show you is the Oriental Promise so we've got it on promotion somewhere what have I done with it? Ah, there it is so this is our Oriental Promise compendium okay you have got two collections on here and it's a compendium which means we're going to have a look at this in a second you are going to get thousands of printable elements for you to use but look at the price normally 35.98 it is only 14.99 everybody so if you love your oriental you just need to actually um, have a look at this and we'll show you what you get on that uh, Maxine says glad I renewed my subscription for the magazines well that's good because they have gone a bit crazy recently um, but if you're looking for a back copy you can always contact the office and the girls will help so we're going to look at this this is also available as a digital so this is FB2822 if you want it as a download it is $12.99 so the difference is you're not pet you paying for this you paying for the dongle so you can either get it as a USB key or you can get it as a download Mary says I've got this and it's wonderful uh, Sarah says can I put your images on my own books not to sell for myself well if you've got um, yes I mean as long as you actually doing it for yourself then that should be fine because I know is it um, what is the comp there's a new uh, machine that you can do home mugs can't you if you're not too sure Sarah just contact the office and we'll clarify it and I do know some people with regard to the mugs um, wanting to do a license and we do that as well for people that sell the actual mugs I've got Philip saying hello uh, as well as well as Carol and if I'm saying hello to anybody please let me know so 12.99 look how fabulous it is you click into it and you've got two collections you've got the paper crafting one and the dimensional one you click let's click into the first one and so you click on here and you can see you've got design sheets so look at that cute panda isn't that lovely you've got papers you've got projects as well so you click on the design sheets and what you'll find is you've got all these different colorways so for example if you click in the purple one I've sent you two of them already but you can have it as purple now to print this off you go to top right hand side and I love this opportunity just oh I've lost it opportunity it says doesn't just happen you create them that is one of my favorite sayings oh yes Julie says cry cup makes mugs yes I knew it was a new machine thank you for that Julie I had a mind blank so if you wanted to print off all you need to do is click on print if you're going to click on cancel and then we're going to go to the next page you have to close the X on the top there and then you go to the next page if you click on the middle one this is lovely the koi carp is gorgeous everybody so you have got these beautiful images for you to enjoy um, if you cancel that one let's have a look at some more what we've got also on here the birds are gorgeous if you click on the aqua one just there we go so you've got different ones do you have a wine bag template Zoe says yes 
Now this should be in one of the template collections, Zoe. You should have, a, you will have a bag template in there. If you can't find it, I will get it sorted and send you the link. So we keep going to the next page. Oh, we've got to share with you the panda. Oh, how adorable is he? So it says, life isn't a matter of milestones, but of moments. Fabulous quotes on here. And you've got decoupage on there as well. Uh, Marianne says, this is a fabulous collection. All the images are very unique. And with a little print magic, they just become a dimensional with no effort. That is so true. Now let's go to the papers. There's so much on here. Uh, Pat says, can I change this for digital? Yes, you can. Look at all the backing papers. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. These are all the papers. Even the blossoms gorgeous. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There's loads, everybody. Now we're going to jump over to the other collection because remember there's two. So this is the paper crafting one. But if you go into the dimensional, make sure you go to the projects first. OK, so that's number 14. And it shows you, everybody, different projects. You have got a calendar. You've got a diary. You've got a pillar box. If we go to the next page. You've even got a shape card, you've got a rocker card, you've got a side scene. Look what you've got. You've got a kitchen organizer. So if you click on number two, this is just so gorgeous, everybody. If you click on number two, uh, sorry, no, sorry, on the left-hand side, the kitchen organizer. There you go. If you click on that and just click on any of those. So you create an organizer. So you have the first bit and then you print off the second bit. So then you cut out your shopping list and then you go to the third bit and then you have this and, and it gives you the step-by-step -step instructions of how, how easy it is to do. Now we click come out of this and then we are going to go into let's have a look at the oh the shape cards they're fab. The like and share to tell me what your favorite Christmas food is Julie please. If you click on the uh, pink one at the top you can see that you have got fans you will also have kimonos these do shape cards they're really great. Now if we come out of this, actually, let's go to the pillar boxes. I want to show you how you can make it smaller and then we're going to move on. So if you click on one of them, so look at that pillar box. Look at the next page. How gorgeous is that, everybody? Um, I had to move to YouTube, Facebook not working. I said, well, I'm glad that you've actually come to... I've just dropped my mic, everybody, so sorry about that. Um, I'm glad that you come over to YouTube. Okay, so um, if you want to make this smaller, this is how easy it is. And this works with anything on the digital side of things, USB key or downloads. Click on the printer. Now every printer will have this option. Now you need to find where it says scale. Sometimes it's under more settings. Click on there, then it says scale. Now fit to printable area will fit the image to the area that you print in. But if you click in there or go further down, you'll be able to change it to a percent. So we'll change this to say 40% and look at this. How cool is that? You can make jewelry, little boxes, earring boxes, ring boxes, or if you have an A3 printer, you can make huge boxes, especially at Christmas. Pillar boxes cost between five and seven pounds, depending on what you've got. So that is that one. Now, one of the other things that we have on here with regard to this, okay, it is our, an older issue. Because people have been asking me for ideas on Oriental. So what I thought I'd do is share with you this next issue. So this is an old issue, everybody. Some people might have it. Uh, and this is FB2814649. It's a digital download. So what you're going to be getting is you are going to be getting in here loads of instructions, loads of ideas, as you can see. Uh, of different techniques but then you've got cards and projects of the oriental promise and then uh oh sandra's signing off now but i'll catch up hopefully tomorrow well take care sandra and look after yourself this is the project that we're going to do so i'm going to show you how to do this but i'm also going to show you how to turn it into three other card projects so we'll come back to that in a second but then you've got papers in the center as well so if you want it as a taster You've got those in there, more techniques, more ideas, showing how to do them. You've even got a panda book folding pattern that you can do and we share the techniques. And then you have got more ideas. So I keep on going to the last page. 
this is the download ready for the spring woodland wonders so you're going to get all that in there for only 6.49 and it's a digital download everybody so if you like the idea and want to test the waters and want instructions you can physic you can order this as fb2824 uh cow says i think i i think it's got to be a mince pie but make you smile i rather do like cold sprout <laughs> really um leia says could i have a year's digital magazine subscription what is the code actually uh anita um you or you you are the first one that's ever asked me for that so i will get that sorted for you and send you the details uh tomorrow so don't worry about that but if you get a, a subscription you can only start from the latest one you wouldn't be able to go to this particular one okay because this is 41 the next magazine is 67 so you would be able to start from the digital download you need to let us know what issue you want to start your subscription from but it's 67 uh, and it will be for six issues as well okay so this is fb2824 and now um, we are going to do our demonstration everybody so if you are uh, downloaded the papers you would have got four papers everybody so the four papers give you the option to create this card and of course you know me I always like to give you choice so what I've done is I've given you the pink colorway and I've given you the aqua colorway and you've got them also in the design sheets so you have got on there um, choices so you can download it and yes you can start with issue 67 and not a problem so the first thing that I would like you to do is we're going to do the shape card so this is the shape card that you're going to I'm going to show you how to do it and what you're going to do this is how easy it is okay you put it together like so but the way it's been designed you can have it from this end and I'm going to go through all the stages with everybody so don't panic so you can do it as a side stepper you can even do it as a middle stepper or you can even turn it from that stepper as well and you can have it that shape as well so it's a really good one um, to actually do uh, Tracy says this is the mag I was after I couldn't find it anywhere Tracy what do you mean do you mean issue 67 the brand new one or do you mean issue 41 the one that we just showed you and do you mean it as a digital or a physical uh, so going back to this technique what you need to do is start off with two pieces of card so these are the measurements that you need to do okay so if I simply so they're my a4 pieces of card everybody and we're going to start off with the first measurement so the first measurement you're going to do is 27 centimeters by uh, 21 so here's my paper trimmer and all I'm going to do everybody is let's put my glasses on as I get older I now need reading glasses so what we're going to do is start off with trimming down to 27 so I just using the side arm finding 27 going to 27 and then trimming this off like so and then I have got so that's 27 and then I've turned it that way it's already 21 because it's 27 by 21 because normally the portrait I should say the landscape width this is always 21 centimeters yes Tracy I can check if we've got a physical but if not it's definitely available as a digital Marianne says for those of us who don't do centimeters oh Marianne I need to figure this out okay so I might have to ask Dave to look it up because I don't know is the answer what is that so it's 10 inches and I don't I can't read it I'll be honest with you I'll get Dave to look it up um, so Dave is going to look up what, what did I say I said 27 centimeters by 21 10 so it's 10.6 inches by 8.2 inches hopefully Marianne that is better um, 
Where am I? Uh, Tracy says my eyes don't work right without, with or without glasses. That's funny. <laughs> okay. And then what I'm going to do, okay, everybody, is with this, I'm now going to score. Now, we had on promotion last week our embossing tools, and I'm going to use the green one. So what I'm going to do is score using my channel on my paper trimmer. You can use a scoreboard, it's entirely up to you. And what I'm scoring at is I'm scoring at 4.5, okay, there we go, 4.5, line it up like so, and I'm just using the tool and score down like so, 4.5. Then the next one that I'm going to do, everybody, is nine centimeters, so I go to nine, like so, put that down, score and then the next one that I'm going to do is 19 centimeters and then I'm going to score okay so you'll end up with you can see there you go you can see one two three sizes okay so that is where well, my 4.5 9 and 19 centimeters then on a separate piece of card what I need to do is make it 29 centimeters like so oh Marianne says I'll just write it down and convert it later thank you Marianne okay that'll be brilliant and then I'm going to rotate it and trim it down to 11 centimeters that's 29 by 11 uh, where am I? Iris says, hi Debbie, I'm using your MDF box board, but every time I make up boxes, they come bigger than the item. I add an inch all round when I cut the card. What should it be? The exact size as, the exact same size as the item. Any help will be grateful received. Iris, I'm not 100% sure what you're trying to do. Okay. Um, so, I will look at that and reply to you tomorrow if that's okay after um, I, I reread it properly and I think I think you are saying that you want to know different numbers for different sizes uh, I think that's what you're asking uh, right okay so there's one of them that's 29 that way by 11 and then I have trimmed this down to be 27 that way by 21 and then I've scored at 4.5 then I've scored at um watch that one 4.59 centimeters and 19 centimeters now then what you're going to do is fold back forward and back again so you'll end up with this everybody it won't meet there don't worry about it because what you want to do is you want it to lean and the reason why you want to lean is then you then fold this in half like so and then you are left with this everybody that's your card shape I really need to use a bone folder there we go uh, Georgia says sorry Debbie I'm wanting issue 41 in magazine physical I think you said I will see what I can do okay if I missed any comments, please let me know, everybody. So, okay, so that's how easy it is to create this technique. Now, the other thing I mentioned is to do a stepper slider card. So, what I was thinking was, for something different, is I would like to do this bit. Oh, Edith says, unfortunately, no, sorry, the bookshop says, unfortunately, my phone is going to cut out soon. I'll catch up tomorrow. I take care from NG in South Africa. No problem, you take care. Thank you for joining us. Um, so, if you want to do a slider card, this is what you're going to do. I am going to use this bit, like so. It's just going to be a little slider card. So, what I want to do is show you the technique. We are going to back this first, and then we can see what we're after, okay? So, I'm going to take a mouthful of drink. So, Top techniques, when you print off on my printer, I end up with a white edge. So what I want to do is trim it down. So simply line it up with your paper trimmer. You go to wherever you put the line. I'll show you why. I'm going to show you a top tip how you only need to cut once. So 
this is my card that I'm going to be doing okay make sure I've got everything ready this is my base sorry my step and this is my base card so what I want to do is I want to cover this on here and here so all you do everybody I want to leave a white edge is simply get a pen or a pencil and this is how easy it is so I'm lining this up there as you can see the line I want to leave a white edge so all I'm doing is putting a line there now you can hopefully see that and a line here and then I'm taking this up to the back and doing exactly the same so to cover this card I've put two lines there and one line here now the top tip is always cut the horizontal horizontal oh okay you say the word horizontal why can't I say that word horizontal even and I'm just lining it up like so and then cutting it and then all I'm then doing is the two bits that I need for here I can trim that like so line it up and then I know it's right and then I trim off this next bit now remember you get both colors you just need to choose what color you would like so then you end up with exactly the right size that you want for this bit it's going to go there and that's going to go there so I'm using some beacons glue everybody three in one glue you can use anything you want double sided tape whatever you want or any type of adhesive I tend to use beacons glue because it doesn't give me the air bubbles and I can slide it on straight away like so I want an even edge and then it dries very quickly and very quick because I'm, I'm probably one of the most impatient crafters you'll ever get to meet okay I can see a couple of people I want an issue 41 we will put that back up in a second Mary's loving 3 in 1 glue yes it's great we've got it back in stock at the moment there we go so that goes there so there's my shape now remember don't expect that to line up to there because it needs to lean to do this shape because now you can do two things I'm going to show you two different techniques if you want to do the standard one where you can put it in the center what you need to do and I'm going to show you that you need to back or should say put your ribbon strip that comes with the actual download I'm going to put that on and then what we are going to do everybody we're going to put everything together so with this this is a middle stepper with a difference because you can just put that along there like so make sure you've got that this is going to go on the middle now you can do two things you can put it on top if you want or just leave it like so now when you actually put an adhesive on I want to but don't everybody do it yet I'm going to do mine and then I'm going to explain how you can move it so what you do is you put the glue on here it's very important and you put the glue on this bit and then what you're going to do start with so I'm laying this flat this is the this is to do the middle one everybody line it up to the edge make sure it's nice and straight that's very important and then what you're going to do is with this one you need to lift it up to line it up like so there we go now if you want it to go completely flat you will need to trim it down which is what I am going to do I've just realized so I am just trimming that down put that glue on again need a bit more glue that way it will go completely flat into um, an envelope and then what you can do is then decorate that with your extra pieces which I'm going to do in a second to do the main feature now before I do that I want to show you how to do a slider card so I did mention that you could do a slider card so all I'm doing everybody 
is putting the glue on this way like so and then I'm going to line that up make sure it's nice and flush like that and I'm just going to put the glue on here like so so there's different ways you can actually trim it down take this off or leave it on whatever you want to do okay but I want to show you how to make it into a slider so then what I'm doing is leaving that there I am going to cut out a slit using a paper trimmer go to there lift up move down make sure it's only like a letterbox technique so you can see it and then what I'm doing is using some scissors trim that off this is a good technique everybody if you've not done it before and then I'm simply it's amazing how time runs away when we don't have a full amount of time I'm doing a letterbox technique so you get a piece of card and in the sewing world this is called a box pleat so a fold so it meets in the middle when I was at school they were called jumping frogs because they look like an omega like so and they jump <laughs> um, where am I Andrew says I finally got round to holding a paper craft workshop the centimetre to inches confused us all. I'm a centimetre girl, but some wanted inches. Anyway, we got it there in the end and it all went well. I used Christmas Melody Kit. It looks gorgeous for the robins. Good to hear, Andrea. So I will try and start doing measurements in future, everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. Sharon says, what weight is your base card? And what weight do you print on? Well, to be honest with you, Sharon, um, this is my printable card that I've used and essentially this is about 250 GSM and what I print on is my this is my satin and it's a hundred and I think it's 110 GSM but whatever your printer takes and the other thing to remember if your printer doesn't take card you can always print on paper and back onto card so going on about card I've now put the mechanism in there and I made a little slider turn it over everybody now you can see it's almost like a butterfly effect now you need to make sure you cut off a strip which I am here now it needs to be longer to go here Christian says I never measure I just do it by eye well good for you sometimes I have to measure Christine right okay so what I'm doing is I've got a strip I'm showing you how to do the letterbox technique and the slider and then I do you can use glue but for quickness and because it needs to dry I'm just using some tape and all I'm doing everybody is making sure that is straight put in this is a tape pen they're back in stock I think they're only $1.99 press down like that now at the moment this moves like this so what I want to do is get another off cut uh, Jackie says I love the slider card yep yeah, well this is you can do a mashup you know how much I love doing mashups uh, I have got my goodness Dawn's just joined to say sorry I've missed the last few shows my son Gabriel had a bad car accident and is on life support all the prayers will be welcome just back from the hospital again need Debbie crafting therapy oh Dawn I'm sending you loads of prayers and hugs um, for a speedy recovery um, but you haven't missed loads I was I was in France last week I bought a chateau in France and this is my I've only you've only I've only missed one week so don't forget any that you've missed you can watch and catch up uh, right I've got a little bit of an off cut and this needs because at the moment this will just fall down so you need to make sure you only put the glue on this bit just a little blob I don't know if you can see that and a little bit on that side you can use double-sided tape if you want to 
but you just need to make sure should have measured it correctly you just need to make sure that you can actually pull so I just need to press down a little bit longer so this is showing you and you can do this technique with anything so I've just showed you how you can make a slider card now this is too big you don't want to leave it that big you want to maybe just cut it to there and then you can do that technique but that was very easy to do if you've just joined us you'll have to go and catch back on catch up now obviously this is a craft along but I've just gone off piece a little bit because I, I did say that I was sharing with you how you can do uh, three different techniques so you have got the middle stepper okay then I've showed you how to stick it to one side and then to make a side stepper and then I've showed you how to create a slider mechanism with that okay and it's so easy when it comes to this and then obviously for those people that are crafting along with me we have got all the extra elements on there now I will put this magazine back on uh, which is where is it F B, I've forgotten where it is, FB2824 and simply what you're going to do is put that on here so I'm just quickly doing this to finish off um, very quickly so this is FB2824 that's if you want the magazine with some ideas and inspiration with this collection or if you want the digital download 2823 that's the download and uh, 22 is the USB key so I'm just cutting these out I've lost mine oh let's do that one so another top tip is when it comes to cutting out people always ask me what size scissors I use now I do have a small pair somewhere don't know where um, but I'll be honest with you I always use the larger pair uh, so it says can't when is the new magazine out I can't wait any longer the new magazine I did mention is due out in the next couple of weeks in the next 10 days that the printer is uh, on time uh, but it's already in the pipeline so pre-orders are now being taken so as you can see what I'm doing is just using this part of the cutting of the large scissors you can use smaller ones if you want but I find it much easier just to use the large ones and just move the paper like so and then all I'm doing is having that on there you can have foam pads on there if you want to do 3d and just I'm just doing this very quickly because we've got some more elements to show you um, remember if I missed a question just please ask so then the last one people have been asking me about um, I don't know what I've done with the topper so I'm just going to cut another topper so yet again you have got straight lines so what I tend to do when I'm cutting out a topper like this because this is an unusual shape now this is on paper and it doesn't bother me that it's on paper because I'm actually the center of it is going to be on card you could if you wanted to back it onto card but to be honest with you because you have got the center already as a base card you don't need a double card and then all I'm doing is using the black part of it to cut through it and you can go around it uh, I've got a message from Marianne saying I love fussy cut top tip is to make sure that when you're cutting that you move the paper not the scissors gives you a smooth and precise cut totally agree so all I'm doing is simply moving the actual paper as I go around and not the scissors and I tend to use and cut this part of the scissors but everybody has different techniques you should just try if you've never tried cutting out with a large pair of scissors have a go you might be amazed of how easy it is to cut out so all I'm doing is moving the paper around and another top tip is if you end up with a white edge and you want it to be a certain color use your felt tips around the edge to hide the color and it's that easy when it comes to cutting it out so just very quickly while I'm chatting to you all now remember next week is a special live show all the way from our chateau in France God willing our Wi-Fi will be okay so make sure you put it in your diary and the week after everybody it is going to be our Christmas party so um, Mary says I've started to freeze I hope not 
It might be the weather, she says. Right, okay. Well, very quickly, I'm going to put that on there. Um, I'm going to add this on here. Just add that on the side like that. And then I'm going to add this in the middle. And then, of course, you've got papers that you can add if you want. But just very quickly, just to show you the technique, and especially because time's running away with me. So that's showing you how to do that shape card or how to make a slider one, like I said, we would actually do. Now, the other thing that we have on today's show, we've been asked for some card making kits because I haven't had any for a while. So I had on Hobby Maker some special promotions. And here it is. Um, oh, the latest magazine, if you want the number for the latest magazine, it is, if you want it as a physical kit, is FB2819. $12.99 as an introductory offer, or if you want it as a digital, is FB2820. Christine says, will Noel be making an appearance? Yes, most definitely. Not tonight, because we've got so much going on, but definitely uh, on the party, and maybe even next week. We'll just have to wait and see. So just to show you, I've got some card samples. So this is a couple of card kits people have been asking for. So this one is down on the fan, which is a great one to have for the spring. Um, we have got gorgeous pre-printed on 250 GSM and also it's pre-printed on uh, 92 pounds. Really, I love the shape. So then you've got horses and you've got the cute little baby lambs in there. You've got the ducklings. Then you've got papers galore. Look at the papers that you're going to get. And even right at the back, you've got some inserts as well. So this is FB2825. You're going to get all these crafting sheets for you to enjoy as well as a forever code. Normally, $17.99 but it's only $28.25 so we had a few left so I thought I'd put it on here oh and we've got even got some toppers so just to show you some cute adorable cards with them gorgeous so it's FB2825 uh, and you can you've got your templates you can use your templates with that as well and honestly, everybody, really have a fun collection with that for $8.99. And the other one that people have been asking me to bring back, okay, we have got our Journey to Wonderland. And that one, everybody, very quickly, let's move that out of the way. It is $8.99 as well. So if you missed it out when it was on offer, look at this one. So we have got our FB2826. Now, once this is done, everybody, we have got a brand new, well, we're going to have a brand new item and we nearly come into the end of the show. Now, remember, this was the craft along. So hopefully you picked up the techniques on how to create um, that lovely shape card. Now, these are $8.99. We have a couple of these left over from the sale that we had last week. So if you missed out, you may want it FB2826. So, and then the new item that is coming up, let me just move that to one side. So that is the Journey to Wonderland. It comes with a forever code, by the way, everybody. So that means you're gonna get these and you'll be able to print these out again and again and again. Really fun collection. Um, yes, Terry, you can have two of Down on the Farm, no problem, gorgeous kit. And yes, Christine and Julie, for $8.99, that is a brilliant kit. Now, my fabulous, oh, there is my lovely sentiment. I was looking for that, never mind. Um, the mini matchets, everybody. So, this is the Peony, FB2827. I don't know if anybody collects these. We have, oh, I think we have maybe six or seven. But this is the Peony, and you get one die set, okay? And then you are going to get all the sheets. I mean, look at the colours. They're gorgeous. So, but then you get the forever code as well, so you'll never run out. And these are great accents uh, to add to your card. If you get the other collections, that's brilliant. So that is um, the offer on the Mini Peony which came in, I think, at the beginning of the year, so we've got it on promotion now. However, if you would like the brand, we'll have a drum roll. We've got a new one due in this month. 
Oh, Victoria says, I have them all. And Margaret says, can I order light sets, two sets? Yes, you can, Margaret. I think we still got them in stock. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the lights. I need to show you, talking of lights, did you see this light? Isn't that gorgeous? Oops, I need to put that back into, uh, but you can see the lights were done on that one. So this is from the fabulous um, Moonlight Dreams collection. So there we do use the lights quite a bit. So I will allocate that to your order. Okay, um, still have a bit of the Wonderland box left. Had from Hobbycraft years ago. It is a lovely collection. Right, okay, so did I do drum roll? Yes. We have a drum roll, sorry, got distracted. There it is again. So FB2828. And we'll put the picture on. It's a new die. It's a carnation die. So we have, oh, it doesn't actually show you. We have, basically, everybody, it's carnation. So I'm sorry, I've just realized I've only got the dice. You get the papers as well. Uh, but it's a new, brand new carnation set. Uh, and it's due to come in. Nikki says, hi, Debbie. I ordered two warehouse boxes, but I only received one. Nikki, uh, Nikki, I will get Jessica to sort that out tomorrow for you and get sorted. Okay. Um, so essentially, um, with regard to the warehouse box, I will get that sorted to you because you should have received two of your order too, Nikki. Jessica will get it sorted out. So going back to this, everybody. At the moment, if I move this one out of the way, this is the peony. The one that you can see there is a carnation die. It's a brand new match it mini die carnation but you will get the matching sheets that come with it and this is the brand new one which is i'm so excited with our new carnation range that is coming out so if you want one 8.99 you get the dies to go with it obviously it'll look like this but this is the peony and the carnations you're going to get loads of different elements uh sharon says this is my first time ordering what is the process to pay what will happen sharon is make sure you private message me your email address and your postal address we'll go through it um near the end of the show which won't be long now uh but then what will happen is over the weekend and monday you'll get an invoice emailed to you and you can click on it and you can pay by paypal debit card or credit card and you'll be able to pay and then it'll be processed. Um, okay, Susan says, it still sounds as if two people are talking at different times. I'm really sorry, Susan. I don't know what's going on. Um, and Chris says, has anybody else frozen? It might be the weather. So going back to the carnation. So we have that new, I've ordered it. $8.99 for the brand new die. But because of the carnation ranges, that are coming in. I thought for the download for today, FB2829, we'll put the picture up, everybody. It is our digital download kit for this week. Uh, for instead of 9.99, it is 4.49, and this is not it. This is what you're going to get. So if you love your carnations, okay, you can get this download kit for 4.49, and it's absolutely gorgeous, everybody. Um, now remember, obviously, this is, if you just joined us, hello, we're coming to the end of our show. And as you can see, um, this last item is the carnation. This is FB2829. Um, and, um, oh, Christine said, I'm on Facebook and the sound's okay, but occasionally freezes, but not for long. Well, thank you for that. Um, as you can see, this is normally $9.99, this card making kit. Well, it's a download. You're going to 21 crafting sheets and you're going to be able to create some fabulous designs. Um, oh, Sandra says, been freezing on and off in Facebook, but YouTube is fine. Well, this is why if you can, you should try to watch on YouTube and some people message on Facebook, whatever you prefer. Now, remember, first come, first serve. A lot of you were going for the warehouse box. The other thing to let you know... The new magazine, uh, which is FB2819, okay, um, it is uh, due out, and this is it here. 
So you are going to get nearly £70 worth of goodies for an introductory price of £12.99. So from the new stencil right down to the free papers, it's all winter, there's no Christmas. There is fairies, art deco and even the winter rose. So this is FB2819 everybody. There's so many different uh, techniques in here. Now remember if you miss the last issue, I okay, care. I've only got one left. <laughs> I, it's, it's been the fastest selling magazine issue we've ever had. Okay, that was our Christmas issue with so many goodies in there and you know I'm going to give you just as many nice goodies in this issue. Now if you want it as a digital, it's FB2820. Same price, the difference is you won't get the physical stencil. You'll get the papers that normally come with it. In our magazines, we give you 40 pull a selection of 40 pull out papers so this is the last magazine um, that you can actually download and start crafting straight away okay so remember we've got them as the same price now if you just joined us you'll probably have to watch and catch up where I showed you how to create that fabulous middle stepper okay but I also showed you how to create a slider card so we're just going to go through, especially because we've got a couple of new people on how to order. So let me just recap on how it is. So we'll leave the last item up, which is the carnation. Okay, the carnation, which is FB2829, um, which is our fabulous carnation dreams digital download. We'll put that picture on as well so you're aware. Now, if you want to order anything, simply you can watch the show back and you can have a look at the demonstrations and see. And um, how it works is as you go through and watch the products, I always say you don't have to order, you just enjoy the community. Uh, simply put the code, like for example, that one FB2829, and it'll be allocated to you. Now, if you're brand new, please private message me your postal address and your email address and then we can actually send you an invoice over the weekend because the show is left open for anybody who can't watch live. Now, now, when you actually get your email for the first time, also check your spam folder. So if you haven't got anything by, what day are we? By uh, Sunday, please check your spam folder and if you haven't got it, please contact the office. Now, you'll be able to click on it and pay by debit card, credit card and PayPal. Our website is debbymoredesigns.com and you can also give us a call on 07553 457 168. Now, you can contact us on Facebook at Debbie Moore Designs or email us at info at debbymoredesigns.com. Now, remember, we are a bit behind with our emails, but they should be all up to date by tomorrow because of the sale that we had the last couple of weeks. So I've come to the end of the show, but don't go away because we have some winners. So we've got a drum, drum roll, please. That was very good. The winner for the like and share is Wendy Neal. Don't forget, Wendy, to private message me your email address uh, and postal address. So she said just the postal address so we can send out your gift when it comes in. And then the rest of you, you're all winners. So I'm going to give everybody a present. Uh, can we get the link for the chateau on? on the, YouTube the YouTube, yes, for both. Uh, so over on YouTube, everybody, we're going to put the link for creating our dream chateau. So if you are interested in following the journey, you can watch that on uh, YouTube and also on Facebook. Um, Susan says, sorry, didn't want that. I wanted the magazine issue 67. Susan, that is fine. You can have that. No problem. We'll get that sorted out. Um, Going back to uh, Facebook, we also have creating our dream chateau on Facebook. So the plan is, everybody, there's not going to be any changes with regard to how Debbie Moore Designs work. I'll be doing a live every week. God willing, there will be no issues when I do the live from France next week. On Thursday, um, it's a special show, so make sure you remember, set yourself a little reminder, either on YouTube or Facebook, we'll be doing the lives, and that will be from France. And the other thing to let you know is that as of Monday, Dave and I will be moving and relocating to France. But the office of Debbie Moore Designs will be still based in the northeast in Darlington and the rest of the staff will still be working there. The only difference is, is I'll be actually spending my time between renovating 
a chateau in France and also bringing out new products. So that's why we're going to be working with other uh, companies to bring out fabulous new products together so I can actually do a bit of both, which I'm so super excited about. Uh, so please, if you're interested in following the journey, make sure you click and follow us on, uh, Dave's put it on there on YouTube uh, and also he's also put it on Facebook as well. Hopefully you picked up some tips for tonight. Now, the other thing to let you know is I'm going to be on Sewing Street on what time I've forgotten already 10 and 12 <laughs> 10 and 12 on Saturday I'll be on Sewing Street TV at 10 and 12 and we'll be uh, the lovely Bella will be with me as well we'll be launching the brand new fabric range by uh, our Winter Fairies collection and I do know that we've got some amazing samples coming from uh, when not Wendy sorry from uh, Bella and also from Nicola and also I have actually got um, I'm on Hobby Maker TV at one two and four and that's with the Moonlight Dreams collection and I've got some more fabulous samples on there from Lois there's also some from Bella there's some from Rita there's loads and loads of samples for you to actually enjoy so uh, thank you for everybody that's joined me and um, don't go away because now I'm going to give you a present so this is a present which is just to say thank you for your continued support now what will happen is from lunchtime tomorrow and don't go on tonight because it will not be available. If you go on to Debbie Moore Designs, okay, you'll be able to get a little gift. Now, this is a treasure hunt, which means, especially for those people that don't know, this started about three years ago and it was inspired by my grandfather, bless him, who passed away. He used to do a treasure hunt when I was a teenager and I loved it. And when COVID started, I had to think of something, I wanted to think of something that I could give back and people could enjoy and have some fun. So we will continue to do these treasure hunts in memory of my grandfather and because you all have fun doing them. So it gives you a little weekend project. Uh, and the idea is we'll put the reminder on Facebook and it also be sent as a newsletter and you'll be able to go into you have to remember two things we'll put the banner up there we go so the treasure hunt for this week which is the 7th of December so I haven't told you what it is and I'm not even going to show you a picture so you have to hunt for your little treasure now you just need to remember the today's date and also the code for this week, the discount code is FB Adventure because Dave and I are going on an adventure. Uh, and you just need to nip over to Debbie Moore Designs. You're all part of my crafting world. So you all automatically remember, even if, like Sharon, this is your first time today. And all you need to do is simply uh, go into products, then go into printable downloads, and then find the section that says members download. And then you find the item that has today's date on, which is 7th of December. And then you put that item into your basket. It will have a price, but as soon as you put on the bottom left hand side, where it says, do you have a discount voucher, FB Adventure, it'll go free. And you just download it and enjoy. And there is one little catch. Please make something with it. Make a card for charity, make a card for a relative, make something with it and enjoy and pass the love on. And it's just a little something for me to you to say thank you for your continued support. We would not be here without you. And that's what we're going to be doing um, every week. We're going to be bringing you more and more inspiration here at Debbie Moore Designs as well as creating our dream chateau we are super excited so i hope a lot of you will follow the journey on there now i can see loads and loads of different messages coming through don't forget if you can't make next week to make the week after it's our christmas party and i've got loads of fun involved with the christmas party for you all so i'm going to sign off now i'm going to say take care stay safe god bless you all have a fabulous weekend don't forget to join me on hobby maker tv at one two and four and also on sewing street tv at 10 and 12 for some fabulous inspiration but for now bye bye take care and god bless and i'll see you very very soon